The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the evil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out his kingdom. All who cause others to sin and evildoers, they will throw them into the fiery furnace, when there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Good morning. Good morning Today we have with the first reading Moses preparing finally the people of God to know the will of God. And it is very famous for us. You cannot love what you don't know. So he goes to the tent and uh, the famous number that happens so many times in the Bible, 40, 40 days, 40 years for them in the desert, 40 years for 40 days for Moses inside the tent, 40 days for Jesus, the desert preparing for his mission and go on. So it is like a number of perfection. He stays in that tent with God. And God, it's given finally the rules, the Ten Commandments that will guide the people of God. And these commandments, they become the Word of God. The Word of God, what God wants from us. Passing to the Gospel that could be considered the seeds. The seeds that God is giving. His Word that is preparing us to make good decisions. Between those two letters, we also have that God has given, and you have seen, free will. So that's the point that he calls the righteous and the evildoers. It is a choice. It is not an imposition. Huh? I was born like this and I will stay like this forever. Or I have been an evildoer all my life so I will have to stay like this forever. Or I will die like this. Uh -uh. It is not like that. The advantage in the readings that we are receiving, that proposal of God, it is that Whomever receives that word, it's able also to call for the Father, that he is good, a good Father, and will understand and help you to change. If you review the Gospels, we have examples of that. Maybe we could bring, for example, the parable of the son that escapes from the fire with the fortune. You remember? The prodigal son. He comes back from a life of evil doing, and he is forgiven and accepted again. Maybe we could bring into memory the thief that is dying next to Jesus, alive of evil doing, and at the last moment, there is true repentance. The Lord says, you will be with me today in paradise. So if you see, this is not a gospel to be afraid. Ooh, he's going to take the weeds and it's going to be burned and they will go to hell and there will be the wailing and grinding of teeth and all those sufferings maybe you could like start considering that those are not texts for you maybe you should like take in the positive side the other part that the lord is presenting the blessing of the righteous that they will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the father so for me, following Jesus Christ, I think it needs to bring better faces to all of us. It needs to bring more shining in this life. Because following God should be the best that we have in this life. The rest, those are things to have. Those are things to do. A job, a family, friends, they, they are wonderful. But your path, your line should be marked knowing where are you headed and what pleases your Father in heaven. So the Lord will say, 
he blesses generations until 1,000. Can you believe that? But for the evildoers, instead of adding the 1,000 again, he goes to the third or fourth. Why? Because he's also expecting for them salvation. It is not condemning the entire branch of a family. No, it is the correction. Like a father that needs to make a correction with the sons. A father that doesn't correct, maybe you could say he doesn't care for the children. Do whatever pleases you. Mm? Little thieves later in life. Mm -mm. Come here, you get corrected. Why? Because I love you. Because that's the way to share with family the, uh, the gift of having a spiritual life with God. Sharing what he is capable of. So finally, I would say, thanks to Moses for paying attention. He was doing what we were telling in Sunday, the famous intercession. People who are thirsty to know how to guide their lives. That is the first training. And Moses, being holy in his life, he is able to enter that tent to receive and to share later. Maybe that could be also the condition that we have to consider ourselves in some ways, like Moses. Moses that are able to learn from God and later to share with others for the goodness of this world.